Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome mini dress from a huge oversized t-shirt and I've gotten a million requests asking what you can do to revamp your really big XXXL shirt. So this is a really cute idea and it's also like a three quarter sleeve which is perfect for fall or even for winter or whatever. So it's a little bit more modest and you can see I left the neck intact. Of course you can choose to cut it out if you wanted like a more off the shoulder look and anyways this is what it came out um as like this i think it's super cute and i really like how the lacing goes all the way up to the arms so this is what it looks like i hope you like it and i'm wearing leggings right now underneath of it which is like a cute thing that you can do how cute is this t-shirt isn't it so cute and here's the back of it I was sent a few t-shirts by a company called Berlin Bones, which is a t-shirt company based out of Berlin, Germany, and it is adorable. So if you guys want to check out their stuff, uh, you can go to berlinbones.com or visit their YouTube channel at youtube.com slash berlinbones with a Z. I hope you like this tutorial, and I'll talk to you guys soon. This is the t-shirt that I'm starting out with. It is a size extra large. It's so cute. I love it. I love the little hearts for eyes on the skull. This is the front of it. And then this is the back. It just has a back logo as well. And we're gonna just start off by laying our t-shirt flat against the floor. I've pulled back my area rug so I have um, a flatter surface to work on. And so this is the top of the shirt towards the front of my camera and then this is the bottom seam. And I'm gonna start by making a couple cuts up vertically on the shirt. Obviously the body of this shirt is too large for me. I'm like a size small and like I said this is an extra small so we're gonna totally kind of revamp the shape of it while keeping the logo intact. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about um, I would say like four to five inches off each side and I'm gonna cut relatively high up on the shirt. I'm gonna cut to about here from the bottom and obviously the lowest part of the sleeve is here and I'm surpassing that. So I'm gonna cut all the way up to here same thing to the other side of my shirt. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across so I can um, keep the sleeves intact. If you wanted to go all the way up so your dress is more of like a tank top then you could also choose to do that. But I am going to cut down the sleeves so we have sleeves on our dress. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So already our dress is looking a lot more fitted. You can kind of see, I know it's a little bit difficult because my camera, but basically all of this area is gone. So this is what our t-shirt looks like right now. So the next thing you want to do is you want to start double punching holes down the area where you cut and the way that you want to do this is you want to use the tip of your scissors and you want to also be really careful because they are sharp obviously you don't want to cut yourself and I'm going to go about an inch in from the edge of where I've cut and I'm just going to start punching holes in my t-shirt. The next thing we want to do is we want to also punch holes down our sleeves so we can continue our lacing through the sleeves as well. So I'm just going to go over onto the sleeves and do the same motion with my scissors and double punch holes through the sleeves. And obviously you want to repeat the same thing down the other side of your shirt. So you should at this point have holes 
like that. And I don't know if you can see them, but they're there. Like open it up so you can see. You should have holes like that going all the way down the sleeves of your shirt and all the way down the body part of your shirt as well. So now you need to cut your strings for the side of your dress and I'm using a black t-shirt to do this. The material is cotton and spandex so it's a little bit stretchy. This shirt cost me like three dollars so I'm not too bummed about cutting it up but you can use a scrap shirt or scrap um, material if you would like to do that. The first thing you want to do is just make sure that the bottom seam is cut off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because you're not going to be able to use this part. So now we have this, it's just our t-shirt with the bottom seam cut out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting um, horizontally along the shirt and I'm going to make a few strips but I'm not going to cut to the edge of the shirt and you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to start with like a one inch section and I'm going to cut all the way up to the top leaving a little bit like this so it's still attached to the shirt and I'm going to do that a few times up the shirt. So right now you should have an area that looks like this. I chose to cut five sections so that should probably be enough and what we're going to do is we're going to snip off um, the last piece so we just have this portion. So I'm going to cut that right now. So you're going to have a piece that looks like this. And what you want to do is you want to open it up and you're going to stretch out each individual little piece. So you have this. And then we're going to um, cut it so that we have just one long strand. This is a little bit confusing so you kind of have to pay attention. So here's what we have and we want to make this into one giant kind of strand. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to do it by cutting vertically across. So at our first little um, top area, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this one down like that. So then the one piece is going to fall and already we're gonna have kind of a big portion like that and we're just gonna keep repeating that so again here we are and we're just kind of like cutting across to like this And then when we get to the last one, we're just gonna do the same thing like this. So then when you're finished cutting, you will end up with one giant um, kind of string. And after I finished cutting it, I like to go back where the seam is. So there's like a few parts where there's a seam and I just like to kind of even it out. So if there's like any extra pieces of the seam, on either side you can kind of like omit those so it's not going to be like too bulky to get through your holes just make sure that when you're doing this you don't accidentally cut your string so here's what you're left with one giant long string and you want to go ahead and make one more of these because you're going to need one of these for each side of your shirt so now we're going to start the weaving process and I like to cut my the edge of my little strands to kind of like a point so it's easier to stick through the hole. I'm going to start at the edge of one of my sleeves and I'm going to pull it through to the other side like this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it through and then make sure that it's even on both sides so like when I hold it up it's even. that I've only done a few um, 
and you're gonna start to just get this crisscross pattern and you're just gonna continue that the entire way down the shirt. So I'm finished lacing the first side of my shirt and as you can see I have plenty of string left over. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and kind of loosen the side of it up to make sure that the shirt is, or the dress rather, is big enough for me. So it can, you know, have a little bit of give. Now I'm gonna go and do the exact same thing I just did to the other side. Um, and at the bottom you can tie your strings in a knot or in a bow. I'm gonna tie them in a bow. So here's the finished product after I finished lacing up both my sides. It looks like this and it's super cute to wear with leggings or jeans or whatever is kind of like a mini dress slash tunic kind of shirt. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I hope that you try it out for yourselves. So I'll talk to you guys soon.